Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract the OZIP Realme stock firmware onto your PC. So do keep in mind that most of the Realme phones now have the, their firmwares in a zip format. As you could see, you will simply extract the zip format and get all the IMG files inside the images folder. But there also exist a few Realme phones that still have their firmware in the OZIP format and extracting OZIP is somewhat technical in nature. So in this video, we'll show you how to extract an OZIP firmware and get hold of the required IMG file, such as the boot IMG file, using which you could then patch it via magic and boot your phone as well. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to install Python onto your PC. So go to the official website of Python and download it from here. Once you've got hold of the Python, simply launch the exe file. So let's launch it and make sure to check mark add Python to path. This is extremely important. Please check mark add Python to path. And after that, click on install now or customize installation. So as of now, we are going ahead with the default location, which is the C user Sadiq. As you could see, username, app data, local program, Python and Python version. You may change the location if you want, but as of now, we are using the default location and default setting. Just make sure to check mark add python to path and click on install now and it will only take a few seconds for it to be installed. So let's just wait for the time frame and once the installation is complete, you will also have to check mark one more important settings. I will show you that as well. So let's just wait for that to happen and it will be done in a couple of seconds more it will take. So let's just wait and once that is done. In some, if you are installing Python for the first time, you might get a prompt. Let me show you the prompt as well. So you might get this prompt setup was successful and disable path limit. In my case, I've already installed Python beforehand. So I already check marked this. So make sure to select this option as well regarding the disable path length limit. If you don't do so, then you might not be able to bypass the 260 character limit and there might be some issues with the file name. So that is why it's recommended that you choose the disable path length limit option as well. If you have already installed Python beforehand, then that option might not come here. That's not an issue. Now just hit the close button and let's now move ahead with the next step. Once you have installed Python, let's quickly verify the same. So let me go to the directory C, users, username, then app data, it will be hidden. So go to view show and show hidden files, hidden items. And then you should see the app data folder, go there, local programs, and you should now see the Python and the Py Python version number. And here are all the Python files, which we require. So from now onwards, this will be our working directory and we will carry out all the tasks inside this folder itself. So with that said, let's now proceed ahead with the next step. So now you will have to get hold of the OZIP decrypt tool from GitHub. It's an open source tool. There is no re release as you could see, but you could simply combine all these files into one single file. So uh, what you have to do is click on the code button and click on download zip. And with this, we have got the zip module. So click on start download. It will take only a few seconds. And with this, we have got the file. Once you have downloaded all these files, you will now have to transfer all these files inside the inside the same folder where Python is installed. So let me show you just a minute. I have just done the download and this is the OPPO OZIP decrypt master zip file, which we have just got. So first off extract it, you could extract them anywhere you want. And once that is done, copy all the files from here, from the OPPO OZIP decrypt master, copy all the files from here, and then you will have to transfer it to the folder where you have installed Python. So let's paste it over here. And with this, we have done the paste. Likewise, you will also have to transfer your OPPO firmware, which is in the OZIP format. So simply copy the OZIP file from here and transfer it inside the Python directory as well. And for the ease of convenience, let's rename it to something shorter. So let's just rename it to OPPO and the complete name becomes OPPO.OZIP. So as of now, the firmware OPPO.OZIP as well as the OPPO decrypt tool files should all be there inside the Python directory itself. As you could see in our case, once you have done so, let's now proceed ahead in the next step. So now you will have to open the CMD window inside the same folder. So 
just go to his address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. And this will launch command prompt inside platform tools. So as you could see, we have command prompt inside the Python working directory. Once that is done, you will now have to install, install a couple of modules of Python. So first off, simply copy this entire command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. It will now install the module and will take a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds rather. So it's installed. Next up, you will have to install one more module. So copy this entire command and paste it in the CMD window as well and hit enter. And again, it will take only a couple of seconds. Once that is done, you could now start the extraction process. Just keep in mind that this is the file name realme.ozip. So make sure to change the file name accordingly. In our case, I have done the rename to oppo. So the command in our case will be oppo.ozip. So make sure to simply change the file name accordingly. Rest everything will be the same. Once that is done, just hit enter and the extraction will now begin. It will take up to around 5 to 10 minutes depending on the file size. Just make sure that it's showing as the found correct AES key. Once that happens, it will then start decrypting. And as you can see, the process has been done. So let's now verify the same. Once the extraction is complete, you should see the folder inside the Python folder itself. So as you can see, we have got an oppo.zip oppo.zip folder. So you simply have to extract this folder. Right click on it and select extract all and select extract and the extraction will take up to a couple of minutes. So let's just wait and as you could see it's extracting all the files inside that folder. So let's just wait for the extraction to complete and then we'll be back. So guys the process is just about to get complete and with this we have done the extraction and these are the files of the firmware as you could see. So with this we have got the boot IMG file. And you could then use it to patch via magisk and flash via fastboot to obtain root. But apart from that, as you could see, we don't have any other IMG file. So those files are there inside the system new dot that dot br. So in my next video, I'll also show you how to extract this dot that dot br file. So stay tuned for that as well. In the meantime, this was all from this video on how you could extract the OZIP file and get hold of the boot IMG file and the rest of the firmware files. As I have told once again, if you are looking to get hold of all the other IMG files, then for that you have to extract the dot dat dot br file and that I'll show you in the next video. So stay tuned for that as well. And on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.